wait for it. Right, next one. Beast. One million litre capacities. Right, so this is Old Kiwi Farm. This is by Kaz64, an old Aussie gamer. 107.5 megabyte on the download. And it says, welcome to Old Kiwi Farm. Now, I remember playing this on 19. So, it's a bit of a revisit rather than a new one altogether. So, what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on Farm Manager or Start From Scratch, you're going to use 710 slots. Now, if you come on New Farmer, you're going to use 954. Now, part of that is the equipment, but part of that is this start farm here. None of the buildings are it. So just bear that in mind. It's just a big open space. The only thing that is here is those silos over in the far distance there. Now, equipment. Let's go into this menu here. So under small tractors, we've got the Class Aryan 610 and the Bura 6105. Under medium tractors, we've got the New Holland T7 275 HD. Under harvesters, we've got the new Holland CH770. Under trailers, we've got the Lizard TDK301RP. Under headers, we've got the new Holland Superflex 25 foot. Under corn headers, we've got the new Holland 980CR830. Under plows, we've got the Converland Ecomat. And then under cultivators, we've got the Rabi EG39. Oh, two and a half meter. Dear, oh dear. Under power harrows, we've got the Amazon KG3001 Super. Three meter. All right. Carry on. Under cedars, we've got the Amazon Centea 3000 Super. I think this is going to be a three meter farm, isn't it? Right. Okay. Under planters, the Agrimaz Falcon 3. Three meter. Dear, oh dear. Under fertilizer spreaders, we've got the Amazon ZATS3200. Under mowers, we've got the Sepin Newsel F240. Under tethers, we've got the Pottinger Alpin Hip 4.4H. Then we come down to wind rowers, we've got the Pottinger Top 342. Under forage wagons, we've got the Pottinger Boss Alpin 251. Under baileys, we've got the Case LB 436HD. Under animals, we've got the Joskin Aquatran 7300S. Now we'll come back to that in a little bit. Under front loaders, we've got the Class FL 140. On the front loader tools, we've got the Albert Universal Bucket and the Albert Bale Spike. On the header trailers, we've got the Nardi N40BX. And then on the weights, to finish off, we've got the 10 Winkle Pack 750. So that's a fairly decent amount of equipment to get started with. Now, whilst we're on the subject of equipment, if we come down to this one here and go into mods and DLCs and Old Kiwi Farm, these are the mods that are actually pre-installed with the map. So this is where we're going to come back to the Joskin Aquatrans 7300S. Now it says there it will take grape juice and sunflower oil. Now the only issue with that is I've tried it and I've got it set up up the grape factory. And obviously the grape factory produces pallets and it's up there and I can't load it from a pallet. So it's a mystery on that one. How are you going to get grape juice into the back of that? We'll find out later on I suppose. Then we come over to the DK280 and the TDK301. Now these are ace because if we go into it, obviously it's a standard trailer, no problem. Come down to capacity, so it starts off at 15,000 litres. Then you've got double capacity, 30,000. Mega capacity, 60,000. And then beast capacity, 250,000. Oh, that is ace. Now if you don't like the swivel axe like me, come over to the tdk301 and you've got the same options 15 30 60 250 oh that is a 250,000 litre capacity in that little trailer that's quality that is then we come over we've got the potato header so that's just got four meter working with on it mind you so that's all fine again you've got the sugar beet one four meter working with on that but if we come over to this <laughs> this is ace the roper tiger 6s Obviously, usual shenanigans with real brands and the tyres, but come down to the capacity. This is where it gets magical. So we've got normal. So that's 43,000 litre capacity. XL, 60, uh, 86,000 litre capacity. Double XL, 172,000 litre capacity. And, and wait for it. Right, next one. Beast, 1 million litre capacity. So it says 1,000 meters squared so that's 
1,000, 1,000 litres. That's a million litre capacity. Oh, that is ace. Absolutely brilliant. Obviously, that's going to do your sugar beet and your potatoes, but a million litre capacity on that. That is top quality. Oh, love it. Now, if we go into the buildings, because there's a few things in here that's extra as well. So we'll go on the sheds. We've got the old Kiwi farm shed there. And we've got the double door shed there. And we've also got the workshop. Then if we come under containers, we've got the purchase chemical and seeds mod there. If we come under farmhouses, we've got the main farmhouse there. If we come under the production chains, we've got under the factories, we've got the stone crusher makes lime and fertilizer. And under animals, we've got the cow barn with feeding robot. But that actually gives you a capacity of 500 cows. Oh, that's all right. And then if we go up to sheep, we've got the sheep pasture there, 200 capacity on your sheep. And then chickens, we've got this one here, the chicken pasture, 30 capacity on that one. That is ace oh i do like that there's some top quality mods gone into that one now what we're talking about from a map perspective if you come on here on farm manager or start from scratch obviously you don't own any land so if you wanted to buy anything you're going to go for the cheapest field which is 22 at there 35 grand to the most expensive which is field 7 which is this one here 334 grand and if you were interested in a bit of forestry we've got this block up here 306 grand now you may also notice dotted around the map is some placeable areas we've got that one there 23 grand that one there 29 we've got that one there 29 again i mean this one is coming up as a block that's the main shop we've also got this one down here 41 so they're open areas for you to buy and start a farm up or put some more production chains down or whatever you fancy very nice so what are we talking about from a selling perspective? Now, we'll go down the actual menu there. And we'll come to a few things. So olives, you can't sell olives. Obviously, there's different places you can put down for mods. Not a problem on that. We'll come down a bit further. Fabric, you can't sell once you get down there. There we are. So fabric, you can't sell. And also, we'll come down to manure. we get a bit further down there. Yeah. Manure and slurry, you can't sell that either. And then, obviously, digestate lime herbicide normal shenanigans on the rest and that's all fine because obviously there is mods that you can place down not a problem so we go back up into the map you start the game here obviously i'm on new farmer so we we'll start by the house if you don't have new farmer and you're on farm manager we'll start from scratch none of the buildings are here but you still start in the same area so like the main farmhouse there's your sleep trigger sleep through the night so we'll come out of there and we'll go over here is your chicken pasture food goes into there egg pallet spawn point there your animal dialogue box there so we put in some chickens like so <laughs> that's free range look at him go he's having a right run around <laughs> dear oh dear that is nice oh i do like a free range area right so we'll carry on that one just sat there just chilling, no problem. Right, fair enough. So we've got a shed and another shed there. Obviously, you've got your main silo in the middle of the farmyard. So load in, load out at the front. Then we'll come over here because this looks like a buying silo. So we'll click on that. We'll see what goes in there. So obviously, you take out at the front there. Click on that spanner. Which doesn't seem to be working, actually. That's interesting where's the let's click on the map right liquid fertilizer tank so you can't click on it to buy stuff in there's only one icon out the front to take out let's just load in a load out at the same silo hmm all right we'll carry on then we got over at this point here you got a little water section well, that's not actually shown on the map so back your trailer into there fill up the water then we'll come up here to the cow barn. So we'll go through these gates like that. We'll go in here. That open area at the back. Hmm, that's where your cows are going to be grazing. So you've got your milk taken output there. So open up those doors. You can open up these doors here like that. And then we'll come over to this door here. 
obviously come through, load your feed into there if that's the way you want to do it. But also, because this is the one with the robot on the side, mineral feed in there, and obviously silage, straw and hay in there, this is going to be the 500 capacity one. Obviously take your slurry out there. Do we go completely past the animal dialogue box? That should be down this side. What's in that fence? No, that's got to be something else altogether. All right, where's the animal dialogue box? Oh, it's right there. Went straight past it. Shocking, dear, oh dear. 500 cows in there. Very nice. And then we'll come over here. Now, where's the gate to get in? I completely missed the gate. Oh, we've got to go all the way back out. Now, I'm going to jump over that. There you are. So, you've got the gate into there. This is going to be your sheep pen. Sheep farm, whatever you want to call it. So, you click on that. 200 sheep go in there. Water in there. Food in there. And there's your wall pallet spawn point. Then we'll come back out that gate. Because over here is a buy point. This is going to be for your seeds. Right there. So we'll click on that. So this is going to be called purchase chemicals and seeds. So by the looks at you'll be able to get your liquid fertilizer. And you should be able to get your herbicide as well. If it's saying chemicals and seeds. That looks like solid fertilizer maybe. Then behind that, we've got the workshop trigger. So pull your vehicle and equipment in there. Hit the spanner and jobs are good in. And we'll come in this door. We've got a big barn. Big shed, whatever you want to call it. And there's your harvester. Oh, that's all right, that is. Nice start farm. Right, we're going to move down the river to this area here. Right, so first off, we've got a sale point, which I think this is ace. So we'll zoom in, we'll click on that. So this is called log sales. So obviously the hatch marking area is there right on the edge of this. <laughs> edge of the river. So you just load all your wood into there. Like that. And it goes down the river floating. <laughs> That's ace. I like that. Then next door to that we've got the sawmill. So you load your stuff in there. Hit your sour wood icon. There's your production chain menu there. 100 grand to buy. Pallet spawn point in front of that door. And we'll spin around like that. Is your taking out point for the wood chips? I like that sale point. They're right on the edge of the river. Sell all your stuff. Send the logs down the river. That is ace. Very nice. Right. We're now going to hop over the river to this bit here. So as you can imagine, this is going to be your animal dealer. So pull your vehicle in there. And then click the animal dialogue button. So we've got the feeding robot, cheap pasture, chicken pasture. Fair enough. Then we'll come out of there and round the corner. So this is going to be a sale point for you. So this one is going to be called Napier Warehouse Market. So your loose crop go in there. Then your pallets go in there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come out on the main road. I thought we'll hop over the fence actually. Jump over here because there's a nice little house here. If you were to come on here on the farm manager or start from scratch, place a little sleep trigger down there. Not a problem. So we'll come up here. We've got another sale point. So this one's going to be your supermarket. So we'll turn into here. And then go around the back. There's your loading in point. Supermarket. Jobs are good in. Right, we're going to follow the river up here now. And we're going to come to this area. So as you can tell by the icon, this is going to be your main shop area. So you've got your main shop menu there. And then we'll come over here. Another workshop trigger for you. So pull your vehicle or equipment in the hatch marking area. Hit the spanner icon. That's all fixed up. So then what we'll do, we'll come out onto the main road again. Because up the road is going to be the petrol station. Now let's go see how much they're charging in New Zealand. Is this? Yeah, it is out New Zealand. I mean, it's made by Aussie Farmer. But it's actually Kiwi, which is New Zealand. All right, fair enough. How much are they charging? 69. <laughs> nice. <laughs> dear, oh dear. I'd buy that all day, every day. Right, we're now going to move up the road here to this one. So this is going to be a sale point just in there. Now, this is a bale sale point. Now, I know some of the semi-auto loading balers do raise up quite high. I mean, yeah, I've got these odd beams here. You might get caught on. So I don't know whether it's just probably better to unload it outside and then push them in. Or maybe even if you've got an auto load baler, you could just pull it over to one side and then load them that way. But that's... 
bale sales for you. Very nice. So we're going to move up the road to this bit here. So this is another sale point for you. So this is Hastings Mill. So you just come off the road, up the ramp, load all your stuff into there. Fair enough. Then we'll come down the road and we'll cross over. Obviously we're watching out for traffic. That car's gone. Oh, there's a car there. Right, after this one. Go, go, go. So this is going to be your sugar mill. So load your stuff into the back. Spin it around. Well, I suppose that's the front, really, isn't it? Because that's next to the road. You've got the old pallet spawn point there. Your production chain menu there. 80 grand. Yeah, do a bit of sugar. Right, we're going to move up the road here now. So this is going to be your great processing unit. Now, I've already bought this because I was trying to find out whether I could load that trailer with the grape juice and I couldn't do it. So this is going to cost you 80 grand. So you've got your loading in point there. Obviously, your production chain menu there. And then there's your pallet spawn point. So we'll just try it again, just in case. So I've got that trailer on that accepts grape juice. So we'll pull right up next to it. There's no option. I'm pressing in on the left stick. It's not happening. There's no option on the old uh, RB and LBs to open anything like that. So that's just really random. Obviously, you've got the option to put grape juice into it, but I've got grape juice here and it won't load in. Maybe I'm missing something. I mean, if you find out how to do it, obviously drop it in the comments below and we'll see how it's actually done. But I can't get that to work. All right, we'll carry on. So we're going to go over the river to this part here. So this is going to be your grain mill. So you load your stuff into there. Pallet spawn point there. Production chain menu there. 96 grand. Fairly standard. Fair enough. We're now going to move on and over to this area here. So here you've got a sale point and a production chain. So the first one is your carpentry. So you've got your pallet spawn point there. Down this side is your loading in point and your sale wood icon. Then round the corner there is your production chain menu. So click on that 60 grand and over here is your biomass heating plant so load your stuff in the top there hit your salt wood icon there all fairly simple i mean you can buy this part as well so if you want to buy that you've got space there to place a couple more production chains no problem at all oh that's all right right we're going to move over to this one here so this is another production chain this is your dairy so you load your stuff into there come down this side there's your production chain menu so click on that 70 grand and then we'll come down here is your pallet spawn point fair enough so what we'll do we'll come out this road we'll go down here a little bit so again there's another little house there you could place a sleep trigger down if you was coming on farm manager or start from scratch but it's two there you could have like a neighbor <laughs> fair enough neighbor or well, neighbors in New Zealand, I don't know, Neighbours was Australian, wasn't it? All right, never mind, carry on. So this is going to be another sale point. So come up here, load your stuff into there. And that one is going to be called Havelock Mill. Fair enough. Then if we come out of there, and we'll just go down the road a little, because this is one of the open areas you can buy just to place your farm down. Which is great. I mean, look at that big open space. You can place loads of stuff down with that. That is ace. Right, we're going to move on to our last area here. So this is going to be another production chain. So this is your spinnery. So you load your stuff into there. Pallet spawn point there. Then we'll come around the front there. There's your production chain menu. So click on that, 60 grand. Yeah, I like this. I like this map, actually. This is very nice. I mean, you've got those areas that we've just seen for the big open space that you can start your own farm on. There's a couple of others dotted around as well, but the fields themselves, you know, medium-ish size, that's all right. I mean, we're coming over here, we've got another placeable area you can put down. This is all right. Oh, I like it. I mean, like even that bit there by the animal dealer. It's got a bit of space there. You can place some stuff down as well. Oh, I like this, man. Oh, I like it a lot. I mean, it's really nice. Fields, fairly open. Yeah, you got some few trees lining them, but nothing too spectacular. You're not really going to get hooked up on many fences. No, I think this is very nice indeed. Oh, I like it. Right, so that's your map tour done for you. Drop it in the comments below. What are you thinking of doing? Are you going to get some animals on the go? Are you going to smash out some fields? Are you going to take on that little block of forestry at the top? We'll see what people are looking at. 
If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, it's much appreciated. But for me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.